All right, off to buy another car. get another car. A little bit different this time but it's going to be good for spare parts for one of the cars I already have and I'm going to drive it home. So and I've got payment in the back. Anyway I'll show you what it is when I get it. picked it up and she blows a shit ton of smoke but that's all right I'm sure I'll get it home and I didn't buy this for the um, for the engine I bought it for a gearbox and panels and whatnot for my other car anyway I'll show it to you when I get home I'm smoking Aiden out back there. Hope he's sucking those fumes in. <laughs> Just blowing a little bit of smoke. That smoke seems to have cleared up a bit. Yeah, I stopped in at Marty's house and he had a quick look at it and he just basically revved, give it a good revving and a heap of black smoke came out which may have just been the muffler. Like there was a stack of black smoke. Could have swore we were at the truck races. There was <laughs> Yeah, it wasn't a bad effort. But um, yeah, when I left his place, I, I gave it a little bit, a bit of acceleration, and yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's still blowing a bit of smoke, but yeah, it's not too bad. All right, guys, this is what I bought. A 1996 Mitsubishi Triton. She's um, a four-wheel drive, and it's exactly the same as the very first four-wheel drive I ever bought, which I still have. And this is going to supply some parts for my Triton. Now, the bonus of this Triton is it comes with that bull bar, these side rails, and that snorkel. Now, I reckon to buy that stuff new, you could be up for like 1500 bucks, maybe two grand, I'm not sure, but um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Those wheels have to be returned, the uh, guy wants those back, and that's cool, that's no worries. It did come with these wheels, I'll go and see my local tyre supplier and grab some second handies. Uh, second-hand tyres from him or tyres that are no good for registration and yeah I'll probably stick them on these rims these rims do have some rust on them in places that one doesn't look too good but yeah if I get some free tyres might cost me, I don't know, 50 bucks maybe to fit them up. And I'll just put them on this so I can roll this thing around. This has got pretty good panels on it. My Triton has got a damaged front guard around the indicator here. 
somebody ran into a tree stump. I won't say who it was. Aiden. And what else do I need off it? I need this windscreen as well. This cab has a bit of rust in it. On the top corner there and top of the windscreen. It's got a bit of a ding in the bottom there. Which is no big deal. I'm sure you can pop that out if need be, but as I said, I don't need this cab. Needs a bit of rust repair in the bottom corner of the guard there. That's okay. I reckon I can just cut that bottom section of the pat there, that section out there, and use that as a repair patch panel. Interior. Interior is a bit different to mine. It's brown. The door cards, steering wheel, and the headliner are brown. This seat on the passenger side is exactly the same as mine. And that driver's seat's been replaced. It's a shame because my seat in my other Triton has got a tear in it. But anyway, that's all good. Before I do anything, I want to take it for a drive around my property. Uh, just to see what, well, see how it goes, really. A couple of things on this Triton compared to mine that are different are these hubs. The hubs I have are like a, a freewheel and a lock mechanism on them. So you can just turn them to lock them or freewheel. So, okay, let's take it for a drive. Now, one thing I did notice that's different as well on this Triton is that little button right there. My Triton does not have that aircon, so it'll be interesting to see if that actually works. She starts up straight away. I want to see if this aircon works. I don't notice any difference. In the air, it's still the same whether it's on or off. Anyway, let's go for a drive. There's no four wheel drive light on the dash lighting up at all. Oh, she's definitely blowing some smoke. very loose underneath this truck. I don't know what it is. I mean, I could probably see it if I actually climb under there and had a look. Going to a hill on my property, which is pretty steep, and I want to give it a go. See how it goes. See if it makes it up the hill all right. And there's Aiden waiting for me in the Corolla. The Corolla actually makes it up this hill. Uh, 
Yeah, quite surprising. Now I'm in four low. No light on the dash. I'll just try shifting this around and see if anything lights up. Nothing between four low and four high. No light. Anyway, we'll put it in four L. See how we go. bit of smoke out the back but that's normal all right I'll turn around here somewhere just gotta watch out for bloody wombat holes Go back down. <laughs> I don't know what happened then. <laughs> Scared the crap out of me though. Probably just a slip of my foot or something, I reckon. Anyway, I'm going to head back now. I might try this aircon once more and see if it's. Uh, no, the aircon's still blowing the air temperature basically, so no change in that. But you know what? That's all right. Would have been nice if it was working, but probably just needs a regas or something. I'd say. And here comes the steam train. this up and you're gonna have a sticky peek underneath and see what the hell's rattling around under there that's what's rattling around the gearbox maybe there's a broken mount or something or I don't know Anyway, that's all right. It's not like the gearbox is going to be staying in here anyway, so. Well, here's my Triton. As I said, exactly the same. It's 
tell you what, I like them wheels on that one I just bought. But yeah, there's that damage there. The cracked windscreen. The cab on this is good. Bit of rust in the bottom of the guard there. But yeah, this is a good truck. So at the moment it just fetches firewood around here along with the car next to it, the Corolla. But yeah, I'd like to get this back on the road one day. Having a ute is very handy. The wheels have to come off that new Triton that I bought today and I want it parked there that way it doesn't have to get moved in a hurry so with no wheels because so I don't know when I'm going to put tyres on those rims so yeah anyway that new Triton will live there that Triton will live there and Aiden's XR6 will stay there the Corolla yeah I don't know I might just park that down there somewhere maybe where the Triton is The new Triton's already providing spare parts. Had a bit of wire here for years holding that battery clamp in. It's been a few months since I've started this old girl up. So, being a diesel, I imagine it should start pretty easy. See how we go. Bad. First go. I've had a bit of a think about what I want to do with this car. Now, that bull bar, those side rails, and that snorkel, I think I'm going to put it on that Triton over there. I'm going to remove that whole, the whole guard on this one, because it's already got a hole in it, 
and there's no point putting a hole in that good guard on that one so yeah I'm gonna probably transfer that bull bar side rail snorkel onto my old one I do like the look of the original bumper on it but around here it's not that practical especially with the wildlife we get on the roads I really, really don't want to go to all the effort of replacing the guards and you know and then I hit an animal and do more damage so it makes perfect sense to remove that bull bar side rails and put them on that all right guys I hope you enjoyed that video um, again something different uh, normally into my Falcons but I've got all these cars I might as well show you what I've got and where they stand where I'm at with them um, now with this new Triton it does have an oil leak that might be the uh, the issue why it's blowing so much smoke the oil leak looks like it's coming from the head gasket that could be the issue it also may have some dodgy rings in it apparently it has been re-ringed well not so much dodgy rings but may not have been installed correctly so that might be the issue but anyway I'm not concerned about these at the moment I want to get back into the Falcons in my shed get them out of the way and then I will get back into these later on anyway I'll catch us all later see ya